Annabelle. Georgie. This is Black Alert, but we don't have many details yet. One of our planes sent a distress signal, a Boeing B-52. The signal came from somewhere near the Annan Islands. That plane carried a hydrogen bomb, so this is top priority. Lieutenant Colonel Gordon's in command. His mission will be called Operation Broken Arrow. Colonel, you're going to stay in the job until you find that H-bomb. Understand? Yes, sir. been here so long they're turning to dust. Sit down, Captain. You're tired. Stay away. If it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't have flown into that swarm of bugs. Give me water. To keep away. Where the hell are we? Mm-hmm. 
George isn't back yet, huh? No, he's still out somewhere looking for insects. What's the matter with your crazy husband leaving his new wife alone every day? Nothing, he's just crazy about rare insects. Is he looking for a rare insect which has smooth white skin by any chance? Huh? What do you mean by that? I'm Lieutenant Colonel Gordon. Some people saw some parachutes, but that's all I could find out from them. That's fine. Where'd they come down? They said over there. We'll take a boat out. Is alive. That's good. What happened? He must have fallen over the cliff. Did they get those from the plane crash? No. Those were caused by something else. What do you mean? Well, I'd better do an autopsy. Who did it? Who did this horrible thing? Here. No, thanks. Hey there. You want to buy a watch? I'll make it cheap. Huh? It's only 30 bucks. It's an American Air Force watch. Where'd you get a watch like that, huh? Well, where I got it's not important. I bet you cut it off one of those guys who jumped out of the plane the other day. Huh? I pity the guy who's caught with that. Huh? Okay. Don't buy it then. George! Where have you been all this time? I've been so worried about you. I've just been out looking for insects, but I went to some of the other islands. Were you really looking for insects? <sighs> and what is that supposed to mean? Don't get any funny ideas. I've told you before, I'm gathering rare insects to send to Dr. Nagumo, the biologist in Tokyo, for his research. Mm. 
I've been walking all over the place. I'm tired, so stop nagging. I'm sorry. George! Did you say you're tired? <laughs> there's lots of ways to get tired. What's that? I've heard that there's an attractive white-skinned butterfly you've been chasing around on the island, eh? <laughs> you dirty rat! <laughs> Stop it, George! It's uh, Joey, me. Stop it, George! Let him go, George! Stop it! I've got something important to tell you! What's happening here? Oh, hello. Uh, what brings you here? <laughs> now then, what can I do for you? That's him. I hear you're in possession of an American Air Force watch. How about that? <coughs> Let me go! Uh, George! What's the matter? Have you done something wrong? What do you want with me? I haven't done anything! Well, come anyway. Then we'll see. I tell you I didn't steal it! Tell me about it again. Come on, tell me how you found this watch. Don't lie! You didn't find it, you killed the pilot and took it. Tell us the truth! I didn't! You did! You wanted the watch, so you killed the pilot and all the others. You're lying and you know you did it! I didn't! I didn't! This insect is extremely poisonous. It hits the nerves, causing insanity, and then death. We know nothing about this species yet. It's a new one. A young man named George sent it to me recently. He found it on the island where he's living. He sent this telegram to you. George has been arrested on a murder charge. I got the telegram. Doctor, you must help us. George is innocent. He really didn't do it. Mm. Help me. There's nobody I can turn to on the island. I'll do everything I can to help you. George. I'd like to thank you. The insect you found is a new species. You mustn't give up hope. You kind of need your courage, too. Or did you really kill those men? I didn't! I said I didn't kill them! I was sunbathing. I saw the plane explode. Parachutes popped open afterwards. So I... Sell the watch and buy something nice for Yukari.
Tell me. You were alone on the beach, weren't you? Be honest with me. Unless you want to go on trial for murder. I was with a girl named Annabelle. Annabelle? Who's she? What's between you? Don't ask me to tell you more. Chief? Doctor! Won't you please help me? Don't give up no matter what happens. Okay? I want to see the body of the pilot. I'm sending them back to the States. Hurry up, will you? He was bitten by insects. These men were beaten. They died from internal bleeding. However, a hemorrhage can be caused by other things. In my opinion, they were caused by the blows of a sharp rock. I'd like to see the airman who's still alive. Your friend's guilty, so I don't see the point of wasting our time. Still unconscious, Doctor. Yes, but he speaks from time to time. Insect, insect. Insect? Insect. If he regains consciousness, he may be able to help us prove that George is innocent. I have that feeling too. Who are you? I was sent by the Red Cross. I'm Dr. Comuro. A pleasure. How do you do? You see, George is a friend of mine. I just know he wouldn't kill anyone. Hey, honey, hey, why don't you come over here and make us happy for a while? <laughs> Doctor! Doctor! George is fine, don't worry. I asked if you could visit him. They said yes. Hey, Doctor, have a drink. <laughs> yeah, am oh, I lucky? That plane crash was a godsend. There I was with the same customers day after day. I was going broke when the excitement blew up with the crash. <laughs> hey, Yankee flyboy! Was that just a fighter plane that crashed, or a bomber? No comment. Uh, I guess no comment was the reason your plane crashed. <laughs> it isn't even safe to go outside anymore. That's it. <laughs> what did you say? No, 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 no. We Japanese, we're supposed to be friends of the Americans. Let's try to get along, no, huh? No people are always yes, saying we should be friends with Indians people with all the locusts yeah. are destroying the grain crops and stripping the forest bare. It is feared that as a result of the locusts, even more widespread famine could be expected on the subcontinent this year. Strange. The Indian government at an Nagumo. emergency meeting today. It's not so unusual. India and Africa are always having crop failures for one reason or another. But it's not the season for locusts. It's the first time in my life I've ever heard about this. It's weird. <laughs> well, what a pleasant surprise this is. What brings you over here? The plane crash? <laughs> what would you like to drink? Brandy, please. A brandy? I'll bring it right away, Annabelle. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Insects! Insects! Now there's uh, nothing to be uh, afraid uh, of. Uh, uh, no. Uh, 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 insects! Uh, uh, insects! Oh, hey! Insects! What's wrong now? Uh, uh, Why is a big man like you afraid of a few little bugs? I'm glad you finally woke up, though, Charlie. Charlie? Who's Charlie? Colonel, Charlie's regained consciousness. That's good. But he's lost his memory. What? Lost his memory? He must have hit his head falling off that cliff. No. Until Charlie gets his memory back, we can't proceed with Operation Broken Arrow. Right. Do everything you can to bring him back to normal quickly. Yes, sir. Operation Broken Arrow. come from Tokyo to help George. He's arrested on false charges. False charges? I think he's innocent. Won't you testify? Testify? I don't know what you're talking about. George told me. He was with you when the plane blew up. I do know George. I've asked him to collect insects for me on the island. You too? For several decades, these islands didn't belong to the Japanese so they were able to revert to the natural state they'd been in once long ago. They're the only paradise left in the world for insects. But people will come here again soon and put an end to it all. What will become of the insects then? It's easy to see they'll all be killed off by humans. Are you a biologist? No. I just love insects. I love them because they never lie. I don't trust human beings. Why not? Have you Japanese forgotten what happened here two decades or so ago? Of course I haven't. No Japanese can forget. During the Pacific War, the bloodiest battle was fought out here. Human beings are about to repeat the same mistake they made 20 years ago. Annabelle. I admit things look very chaotic and dangerous, but I don't believe mankind's going to destroy itself. You're almost too good to be true. No, I just have faith in people. Well, I don't. Don't you? You suffer in the war? The scars of the war still remain in everyone's mind. No, we must never forget them. We must hate and curse them. We must keep our hatred alive forever. going to have a baby. We're going to have a baby. Is it true? Yes. Dr. Kumur examined me. I'm three months pregnant. What's the matter? Aren't you glad we're going to have a baby? Aren't you happy? What can I say? My baby's coming, and I'm going to be tried for murder. What'll happen to the child and you then? Why didn't you tell me about the baby sooner? But you, you went to Kojima looking for insects and stayed so long. I wanted to tell you sooner and make you happy, but now you're sad. It's the insects. Huh? Insects have babies, too. 
That's why I asked you so many times not to harm them. Our trouble is not because I harmed the insects, and besides, they were the only source of income. I'll be going to Tokyo on a murder charge. It'll be the end of everything. George, don't give up hope. Naguma will find a way out of this, I'm sure. Charlie's memory won't come back to him. Colonel Gordon, why are you anxious for him to get his memory back? So he can say that George didn't kill your men? No, not that. To you, George is no more significant than a worm. What are you driving at? You want Charlie to get his memory back? Only so you can find out where your H-bomb landed. Are you a spy for the East? Why must you always think of people in that way? Crudely dumping everyone in the world into the East or West. Don't evade the issue. Don't you worry. I'm just trying to get an innocent man off a murder charge. I think I went too far. Forget everything I said. But how did you know about the H-bomb? I heard the words broken arrow. I've heard about that code before. It's used in times of nuclear accidents. Keep Operation Broken Arrow a secret. But what about the area where it fell? What happens if there's radioactive contamination? H-bombs are equipped with 40 safety devices. There won't be any radioactivity. Then tell me why. Why are you so anxious to find it? It's because of the danger? I don't have the time to argue with you today. Anyway, there's one thing we both agreed on. Charlie must get his memory back soon and tell us what happened. Don't worry. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're ready, sir. Right, go ahead. Hold Charlie's hand. Yes. Go on. Remember, Charlie. Yeah. It's dark. I can't see anything. Where is it dark? Is it dark in a cave? No. No. And then? Uh, What'd you do then? It shines. The doctor shines. <laughs> Sex kill those men? He just imagined it. He's a drug addict, too. A drug addict? He got frightened of combat, so he started taking drugs and got hooked on them. And as for those insects, I'm sure he's imagining them. The poor guy. We're fighting for our liberty. A lot worse would have happened if we hadn't fought for freedom. Sometimes winning a war doesn't make you right. Doctor! I think I'll go and check the cave to see for myself. I'll go with you. Hey, where's 
counter bomb. Where'd it fall? Answer me, where's the ace bomb? If we don't get hold of it before the world finds out about it, our country will be in a difficult position. Tell me! Anzacs attack our plane. They made our plane crash. Fool! You think I believe that? It's true. Anzacs made the plane crash. Colonel, we found the airplane. What about the bomb? No sign of it yet. Funny. There's no insects. Then, did Charlie just imagine them? No, I don't think so. I'm afraid. Don't worry, the insects aren't here. We'll be all right. This is used to culture bacteria. It's new. Somebody's been here. I wonder. Nagabo. Nothing. A scratch. Somebody's up to something funny in this cave. Whatever it is, it might help to prove George's innocence. George! Wait for me, George! Wait! Oh, please! Wait until Dr. Nagumo comes back, please! You hurry. I'm resigned to it now. What are you saying? It's all right. Let me have my last look at the sea. I might never have a chance to see such a beautiful sight again. Ah. It's beautiful. I'm going to escape. I can't let them take me away. I must try. I must get away for your sake and for the baby. Thank you. Come on, stop. Hold it. I'll no, shoot. Wait. No. Get the cord. Hold. Charlie. Maybe he's cut his memory back. Where are you going with Charlie? It doesn't concern you. Yep, it does. He's got to be a witness at a murder trial. If he doesn't give evidence, we can't prove George isn't guilty. Don't say anything more. Let's go. Don't shoot! 
Insects. George. Annabelle. What did you do with all the insects I used to catch for you? George, you must do what you're told to do. You can't run away from me now. If you leave, you'll be arrested by the police and hung for murder. George. <laughs> Hope you're not getting your lovely knees dirty. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. Well, Charlie's got a lot of guts to kill those MPs, but I wonder why he did it, eh? Charlie? I don't think he did it. He's a sick man, but not in that way. He's a wild beast inside. Left alone like this island's beam will be even more wild. Aren't you really a wild beast yourself? Huh? Listen, if you so much as look at her, I'll get you. I get the idea. <laughs> Hold him down! Hold him! Just give me some answers. What kind of plane were you flying in, Charlie? guys up to anyway. Shut up! Oh, you. Oh. The American Air Force is looking all over the place for that plane that crashed. So I must have been carrying something very important and I want to get it back. So, what is it? Wait. Doing that won't make him confess. Annabelle, what are you going to do? Do it. Uh, Annabelle! Are you out of your 
mind, Annabelle! Who did this to me? Do you know who tattooed these numbers on me? Do you know what these numbers mean? They were put on me to mark my turn. In the gas chamber. You see, my parents and brothers died in Nazi concentration camps in the last war. It was worse for them than for any soldier, because before they died, they were tortured. Ah! Ah! The Nazis used my body. And when they were finished, they put a number on me, and I was lucky to miss the gas chamber. <laughs> Are you still telling me I should believe in people? Help! I don't trust human beings. Help! Help me! Help me! Why did you carry on the plane? Hydrogen bomb! Each bomb? Please, hurry! The insane! Sir. Where did the bomb fall? Uh, Tell me where the bomb came down! Uh, Catch the insect! I've got to find out where the bomb is! Move aside. It's my turn now. You found out what you wanted to know. Now it's my turn to do some experimenting. Hey! Don't tell the old man at once! The old man turned in. What do you want? Whiskey, please, if it's not too late. Uh, whiskey, eh? No reason why not. I thought I heard a transmitter. Oh, I couldn't get to sleep. Thought I'd practice a bit. Oh? My hobby. I like calling lonely women in foreign countries, hearing the strange things they say. <laughs> <laughs> a hobby that suits you to a T. Good night. Uh -huh. Come in. The door's not locked. Colonel Gordon, Red Agents operating on your island. They're after the H-bomb. Get all the available men on a 24-hour search for that bomb. Right. Hey, get him out. <laughs> get him out. He's really crazy, all right. Now let's see what he does from now on, huh? <laughs> I'm afraid. I don't want to have a baby anymore. You mustn't try to get rid of your baby. But... I'm so afraid the baby won't have a happy life. You mustn't worry about the future now. Yukari, the baby isn't just yours alone, you know. George is happy that you're going to have a baby, is he not? Yes, but Will George you? is... <laughs> Charlie! <laughs> 
Extermination of man. Insects singing about the extermination of man. He's been stung by an insect. So much pus. Why? Insect eggs. Charlie's body was full of insect eggs. Eggs? It's impossible. I can't believe it. Insects don't lay eggs inside human bodies. The bodies of the men in the cave looked like Charlie's. Only we don't know if those bodies had eggs or not. They were sent home. Something terrible is happening. All this is leading to something. We'd better bury the body. Charlie's bloodstream was full of poison. Huh? But I can't identify it. Take a look at this. This poison? It's from an insect on this island. I've run tests on this in my lab in Tokyo. That reminds me of a strange thing that Charlie said. Huh? That a swarm of insects was the cause of the plane crash. But it can't be. Insects can't fly at an altitude of 30,000 feet, can they? Hold it. Something's been happening in the insect world. Something abnormal. Why did Charlie mention genocide? Genocide. 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 The extermination of men. Genocide. to me. We've got orders to send them poisonous insects at once. Not yet. I won't let you send them a single one until I'm completely satisfied. <clears throat> You're making a very big mistake. Who do you think put up the money for your research? The socialist bloc put up the money and now they want action. Why don't we just take them? <gasps> I don't care whether Liberty wins. 
or the communist world comes out on top. Watch that. I'm just going to keep these insects that can make people go crazy and die. And scatter them all over the world. You're crazy! Ha <laughs> ha! Who's the crazy one? Thinking of germ warfare is proof your side is crazy too. <laughs> hey, up there. It's George's. If he talks to Colonel Gordon, our work will be ruined. Let's get him. I'm sorry I made you worry. Are you hurt anywhere? No. Oh, those two men from the fishing boat came looking for you. What? What's wrong? George, where have you been hiding all this time? At Annabelle's house. He's on the way. Yet you go. You knew. It's all my fault. I was really wrong. Forgive me. But I don't love Annabelle. I hate her. You lie. I'm not lying. She's not even human. She's crazy. She keeps poisonous insects. She injects that poison into other kinds of insects and then breeds a more poisonous species. One of her insects bit Charlie and he went crazy. If she has her way, all the people on the islands will be used to test her poison. I must try to let Dr. Nagumo know, but I can't get near him because they're after me. Somebody's coming. Where's George now? He has huts on all the islands for when he's catching insects. He'll hide out there. Chased by those men, he may get hurt. We'll take the doctor with us at dawn. No. Uh. 
bandage. Yeah. I saw it with my own eyes. I saw Annabelle use Charlie to test her insert. I saw him in agony. And I heard his horrible screams. Genocide! Genocide! Annabelle used Charlie as a test case. Charlie said a lot of strange things about the destruction of mankind as well. Insect behavior is abnormal all over the world, appearing out of season. Swarms of insects flying at 30,000 feet. It's crazy. Genocide. Those airmen's death. It all adds up. I can't believe all these things are coincidental. But Charlie's a drug addict. He might have imagined all those things. Was it his imagination, or was it reality? I've got to know. But how can you ever find out? The only way is for me to try it. Charlie's insect. Let it sting me. Doctor! If you do a crazy thing like that, You'll die just like Charlie. Doctor, don't do it. Yep. I've got to. If I have this within 10 minutes, I should be all right. Are you sure? It's effective on guinea pigs, but it's never been tried on humans. <laughs> uh, let's go. George, that chair. Yeah. Tie me very tight. Tighter, man. The time. Ten minutes to seven. Right. Put it on me. Come on. Hurry. Sure. Hurry up, George. the antidote at seven. Now. Ten minutes. There, my body. Insects. They're crawling inside me. Running. It's coming closer. singing. Insects are talking. They say the earth does not belong to man. They say they don't care if mankind destroys itself with nuclear weapons. However, they have no right to destroy the insects, destroy the human race. Genocide. Exterminate it all. Ah! <laughs> 
to believe. I heard insects talking. And yet, we've got to believe it. They're sensitive creatures. They fear nuclear destruction more than humans. So now they're against us. Knocking down that strategic bomber and killing the airmen. Don't you see? This was the first attack against man. Charlie wasn't imagining things after all, was he? He and his friends were their first victims. Hey, maybe there's another airman dead around here. Huh? Weren't there just three parachutes? That's what I thought. But now I seem to remember... I saw four of them. Wait a sec. One of them came down a lot faster. And it was shiny. Now I get it. That's what Colonel Gordon and the others want. H-bomb. One shoot carried an H-bomb. Let's tell Gordon right away. No, we'd better get Annabelle's poisonous insects. I'll take you. Mm. Doctor, you call my research lab in Tokyo right away. Tell them to make my antidote in large doses. Right, I understand. George, take me with you. I don't want to be left alone. Stay there. Would you care for a drink? No, thanks. You'd better have one. It's going to be your last drink on this earth. What? I hear you carried out a test on your own body. I want you to do it again, without an antidote this time. Annabelle! Genocide. The extermination of man. That's what I've been waiting for. Why? The only thing human beings possess is hate. The history of mankind is just a repetition of hatred and warfare. There's only hate in the world. Annabelle. People who don't know the agony of a concentration camp will never know how I feel, so pull away that bed. Annabelle, listen to me. Stay away. Stay away. <laughs> I'll keep my poisonous insects down below. I'm going to carry out my fourth experiment on a human being now. Fourth? 
Was it you who killed those airmen? Yes, I did. I was hatching eggs in that cave. They walked in, and so I used them in an experiment. But I failed in that experiment. The poison acted so quickly that they didn't have time to suffer. It was I who shot you in that cave, too. You're just as bad as your insects. Hurry up and move the bed away. Open the door. Walk faster. Get a move on. Move on. Hey, what is it? Hey, there it is. The insects are gone. Okay. You still say you don't believe it? I don't care about insects. I'm just worried about the enemy finding the H-bomb. Both the East and the West are wrong. Always trying to outdo each other in a show of force. Both sides are crazy. Nonsense! Burn down the house! Right! The insects are attacking the monkeys. Oh, look! Don't look at them. Oh, George, what'll happen? We haven't done anything wrong, but we'll be killed. Maybe I deserve to be killed, but you don't. Don't say that. You carry. I've given you a lot of trouble. And I've done very little for you. George. Please forgive me, you carry. If we had a chance to be born again, I'd still choose you for my husband. Give me that, I know you're a spy. As a Japanese, I should kill you right here. Now, where are George and Yukari? I'll talk. I'll tell you where they are. On the small island. They're on the small island near where the H-bomb came down. Is that true? Yes. Matsunaga contacted me by radio. Matsunaga. Yokoi, answer me. Answer me! Matsunaga! Yokoi! Can you hear me? Come in! Matsunaga! Yokoi!
George. Huh? Huh? Insects. Over there. Matsunaga, Yokoi, answer, answer me. George, Yokati, answer if you hear. George! Doctor, did you find out where they are? Nobody answers. Tokyo contact you? Yes, but no one believed what I said. They're nothing but a bunch of stupid idiots. What can we do? Right. We'll go to the island in the morning. George, Yokati! Please answer. Come on. Now. Get in. What about you? I'll fight off the insects. You've got to live no matter what. There's only room for one and no more time to dig. George, I want to stay out here with you, George. Don't be stupid. If you don't get in there, the baby will die too. If I don't make it, you and the baby will live. Please, do as I say for our baby. George. Hurry up. When it's safe, you must get off this island as fast as you can, OK? Hurry up now! Sure stripped it bare. There's a hut over there. George. 
George got it bad, didn't he? But why him? Yukari! Oh. Yukari! Yukari, you're okay? You're okay now. Where's George? Where is he? Don't look. It's better not to. Don't look. Do you still deny it? It's the revenge of the insects. I understand now. Nagumo, we need you. Come to the base with us. I don't have time to. I must warn the islanders, and then try and destroy the insects. Wait. Come back here. What do you want? Doctor, we need you. Get in the jeep. I'll be back. Hurry and warn the islanders. What will happen to us? Can we destroy the insects? I don't know. But do the best you can. Hurry up. I'll be back. Sit down, please. I don't want you to die. What do you mean? You're an expert on insects, aren't you? You want to know the antidote? You catch on quick. Yeah. But you aren't the only one who needs it. They need it down there, too. They won't need it much longer. Why? The H-bomb will explode in a few minutes. We have an apparatus to explode the H-bomb. If we send out an electrical wave synchronizing it to the H-bomb fuse, it'll explode. It's the last resort to keep the bomb from falling into enemy hands. Idiot! If the bomb explodes, it'll wipe out the islands. That's not all. There'll be fallout on Japan. Do you realize what'll happen? I can't help some sacrifices in war. By exploding the H-bomb, we can destroy all those swarms of insects and prevent the bomb from falling into enemy hands. At the same time, we'll be able to protect all our military secrets to save the whole world. All sacrifices are inevitable. Absolute madness. You can't do a thing like that. All righty, sir. Don't do it. Enough fear. Get away. Don't do it. Wait. What the hell are you doing? I refuse to have a hand in destroying the world. I won't help set off a nuclear reaction.
insects. The place flown to a swarm of insects. 